part of my recent collaboration with TTS is looking at all things STEAM related and how we can use resources to really bring out those skills, those problem solving, resilience, growth mindset skills that really underpin those STEAM lessons. And look at one of their resources, which is this little fellow here. This is a blue bot. It's just like a B bot, but he's got that Bluetooth capability. And I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show exactly how I use this, this resource and introduce it in my classroom step by step. So I started off the lesson by saying, right guys, we're going to investigate and play around and tinker with a new resource and the new resource is called a blue bot. It's very similar to B-Bots, but it's with a little bit of a difference and we'll have a look at that later on. So I said, right, um, I'm going to hand them out, but before you even switch them on, I just want you to look at them. And when you look at these blue bots, they're transparent so you can see the inner workings of the B-Bot. And what was interesting was a few weeks ago, we did a tinkering lesson where we took things apart and we've talked about what components do and what things do. So I said, right, I want you to have a chat discuss see what you think that each button does what each wire does why it's connected to this part what do you think that part does and we had a little chat first to get started is, What's that, different? Uh, is that the motherboard ah uh, it's not the motherboard and then i said right guys go and have a play press some buttons what does this button do what does that button do and it's much better than giving them a set of instructions and saying right read through the instructions because it's really boring um, by playing, by tinkering, by having fun, they could figure out the main functions and look at what each button does much better and it stays in there, it's that sticky knowledge, it stays there much better than if I just give them a set of instructions for them to read. Then I explained to the children that this has Bluetooth capability, which basically means it can connect to iPads and you can control this little guy through iPads. Now, I had a little mini history lesson in a way because I talked about, well, where's the name Bluetooth come from? It's quite interesting really. The name dates back hundreds of years ago to King Harold Bluetooth Gormson and he's famous for uniting Denmark and Norway in 958 and he had a dead tooth as well which is where he got his nickname Bluetooth. Now in 1996 three industry leaders coined this term for this new wireless technology and in fact the Bluetooth logo merges King Harold's initials using the runic alphabet. So I think it's a pretty cool thing to share with the kids whether you do anything to do with Bluebox or anything to do with Bluetooth in fact. And then we connected the iPad to the Blue Box. Now, it's dead simple to do. You download the app for free and it's on Android or on Apple as well. And you open the app and then it searches for the Blue Box. And when you see it, you can press connect and it connects and it turns into a blue color. And now you can control the Blue Box through the iPad. So you can use the buttons on top. You can control it through the iPad, which is what we did here. So you can use your iPad as a controller and then you can control where the B-Bot goes, kind of like a, a remote control. Or you can do step-by-step -step instructions where you type in the code and then the instructions and it will follow those instructions. And it also has um, sort of preloaded screens as well. So you can maneuver the B-Bot along a UK map, Europe map, so different types of maps. But we had a physical map that we laid on the floor and then we did some activities around it. Using our UK map, I said, right guys, everyone's starting in a different corner. First one to get to Manchester wins, but you got to get there without bumping into other people. So they said, right, let's get there. And in fact, the lads at the corner are very pleased they got there first. So we started off with that first and then I changed the activity next. So I printed a picture of myself off and put it on the map. Then I got two groups up and one member of each group looked at the maps to see where I was. The other member of the group turned away and controlled the B-Bot through the app. So this is where that collaboration communication comes into. So one of the children could see what was going on and had to pass on the directions and the instructions to the person behind them. So they had to use the directional language, forward, back, left, right, while the other person couldn't see. It was a really fun little activity that we did. And then we swapped groups. Then we got our world map out and I printed off pictures of the head teacher. So this is Mrs. Taylor, our head teacher. I printed off multiple copies and laminated them too. And I said, right guys, the next activity is very similar. You got to get to me first and in your pairs, you got to work together and collaborate while one person's looking, one person's not, but the person that's not looking is controlling, but you can't go across the Mrs. Taylor danger zone. So you've got to go around Mrs. Taylor. It's a little bit different, so a little bit more a different dynamic there where they've got to go around and not cross the tailor of danger. And then for a little bit of fun at the end, I got the pool table that we used for after school club and said, right guys, here's all the, here's all the balls here. You've got to use the B bots, work together as a team again, stop, collaborate and listen and, and try to pop some of the balls, which is actually harder than it looks. And the kids had great fun doing this. They were desperate to pop some balls here. 
So then using Kit the Learning Companion, we recorded an evidence part of the lesson uh, using, it's got a little camera on his face there, as you can see, which is his little bell is red, so that means he's now recording. So recording part of the lesson using, um, basically he's like an extra member of our class. They, they, they talk to him as if he's a real person, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, he's recording the lesson. Then we used this video when we went back to class and shared what was happening in this room with the rest of the class. Then after having a great hour session where we did so many different things within the hour, much more than I anticipated, we then put the blue bots back into their docking station. As you can see, when you pop them back in, the little lights go red to show that they're charging. So yeah, we've got um, space for six there. We pop them back on and then they were ready for the next session and the next group. So the amount of learning that goes on with using something like this little guy, this blue bot and using it within a STEAM lesson is it's amazing because if you think about it, we did a bit of science because we looked at the inner workings of a blue bot. Um, computing, because we're coding. Um, communication and language, because the children were talking and having to really describe what was going on and pass that information to the other person that couldn't see the map. Bit of geography, uh, because we looked at the UK map and the world map. Um, there was, I mean, there was even a bit of history in there because we looked at the origins of the word Bluetooth. So when we do, we're doing Vikings actually the next term. So when we do the Vikings, we can sort of refer to that. And the map, we didn't even get into, I mean, there's loads of things we didn't even get into. So with, the, with this blue bot, you can have the tactile reader where you can physically put these little tiles and it follows these instructions. Hardly touched upon all the stuff that the app does because there's way more stuff that the app does than we showed you today. Um, but really, for me, when I know that when those kids go home, parents will say, oh, what did you do today? And they'll say, we played with these little robots. But really, the amount of learning that happened, the communication, language, maths, English, science, technology, history, all this stuff, which is embedded throughout the STEAM, is kind of what it's about. And that, they'll take that and that'll stick, that knowledge and that, that learning they have from this lesson today, that will really stick. And yeah, I love stuff like this. I mean, I get proper excited about this, but I know the kids do too as well, which is great. Um, I'm going to leave you a little thing that I spoke to uh, one of my kids on the way out as she was like helping me charge the uh, the blue box and I'm just going to leave you with what she said but yeah this is a great resource and I think we're just at the beginning of discovering what other things we could do with this guy. It was a bit harder at first but when you keep doing it and never give up then it's easy.